Hi, good morning. Welcome back to a new week together here at Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl, Faith. Here we are stepping out with faith to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. If it is your first time joining us, welcome to our channel. If you are a returning visitor or a subscribed member, an extra, extra special welcome back to Escape Forever Free. This, of course, is our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide, which aims at helping us to build a healthy habit of spending at least one hour with God every single day. So what you do here is that you'll choose your best sacrificial time for the day or the week ahead. You turn up at that time as committedly as you can. You watch this one hour alone time kickstart, um, alone time with God kickstart devotional guide. And at the end of it, at the end of this video, you continue for one hour, you and God alone. Let us continue to bear each other up and pray for each other as we all strive for the mastery to be perfect, even as our Father in heaven is perfect through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. All right, so we're now going to pray and go into our routine. We do, our, we are still using the Great Controversy. We do also use the King James Version of the Bible in our readings. For the Great Controversy, we are using the 1888 edition. You can... Um, Join us with those two books. We are in now chapter 25 of The Great Controversy. We just completed chapter 24 last week, which was looking at the sanctuary ministration in the heavenly sanctuary. And of course, it would have also examined the type that was on heaven, uh, sorry, that was on earth, which is um, which was pointing to the one in heaven. It is um, no time for chapter 25, so grab your material and join us. Let us pray to go into that segment. Again, welcome back. Father, we thank you for another week that you've brought us into. We thank you for the Sabbath experience that you gave us. Father, you commanded us to rest and to come to fellowship with you on the Sabbath, not just because you wanted to give a command, Father, but because you have truly thought out about what is good for us. Father, we thank you for the renovation and the the um, the fellowship that we had. Father, where the body was refreshed and the mind was renewed in your presence. We pray, Father, that you'll continue to give us understanding of your Sabbath and its true meaning, Father, and how it is that we can honor it faithfully. As we come into this new week, go before us, we pray. Forgive us of our iniquities, of our sins, separate us from our iniquities. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Give us wisdom and understanding now as we enter this new chapter of the great controversy, Father. And may we, Father, um, do not delay in practicing what is required of us with the new light that we receive. And help us also neither to be lazy nor selfish in spreading and sharing the light with those who are in darkness. In Jesus' holy and precious name I pray. Amen. So first, we're going to go into our memory text. Every week, we commit a text to memory, at which we try to recite on Friday at the end of our week together. Our memory text this week is coming to us from Psalm 137 and verse 4. And it says, How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Again, Psalm 137, verse 4. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? All right, I will encourage us to read that entire um, chapter in the book of Psalm. It's a quite interesting part of the division. And I pray God help us to be able to recall this um, short verse in due season to glorify his name and to edify souls, even our very own souls. We're now going into chapter 25. It is entitled, God's Law Immutable. All right, so let us begin. Grab your 1888 edition and come with me. It starts with a quotation from Revelation, Revelation 11, verse 19. So could you please open your Bibles? Open your Bibles to Revelation 11 and verse 19. Let us now read together. It says, And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was 
seen in his temple the ark of the testament and there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail mercy this sounds like a very frightful scene let us go back to the great controversy page now let's continue to read the ark of god's testaments is in the holy of holies the second apartment of the sanctuary in the ministration of the earthly tabernacle which served quote unto the example and shadow of heavenly things end of quote this apartment was opened only upon the great day of atonement for the cleansing of the sanctuary so let me comment here it is saying that um the earth type of the sanctuary which we had in the earthly sanctuary message sorry ministration and as i mentioned before in my introduction the earthly sanctuary ministration was only pointing to the heavenly um ministration all right it was only a type it was only as an example and it served only a temporary trans transient purpose right so it has transitioned now to the heavenly sanctuary which um, the ministration continues as the basically the final leg of the judgment um, for God's people and for all people. All right, so let us now go. Continue to read. It says, Therefore, the announcement that the temple of God was opened in heaven and that the ark of his testament was seen points to the opening of the most holy place of the heavenly sanctuary in 1844 as Christ entered there to perform the closing work of the atonement. Here to comment again, atonement as in the earthly type of the sanctuary ministration speaks about the cleansing and the putting away for, of all the sins that the people would have gained in their entire time up to that day um, away from them for good. So in the case of the earthly sanctuary that atonement service would have transitioned with the blood which represented all the sins of the people being transferred to the scapegoat who was taken outside of the camp far away outside the camp into the abyss of nothingness and that is how it is that the sin was represented to have been separated from the people all confessed and repented sins Likewise, in the heavenly sanctuary, this work has been um, carried out by Jesus Christ himself. This time it's a final work. It's not only trans um, transient to anything except the final slain of death, right? So in this situation, in the sanctuary, heavenly sanctuary um, ministration, um, the judgment happens, which is what would have happened in terms of Christ's initial entrance in 1844 according to the 2300 days prophecy and so he would have entered into the sanctuary now and, has, and is carrying out the investigative judgment as our high priest all right and this judgment is a final judgment it cannot be changed so it is set and when the books were open there was thundering and earthquake and lightning because the great God and the great judgment the great Christ, the great God, entered and the great judgment had been set, begun, had begun. Let's continue to read. Now, those who by faith followed their great high priest as he entered upon his ministration in the most holy place, beheld the ark of his testament. As they had studied the subject of the sanctuary, they had come to understand the Savior's change of ministration. And they saw that he was now officiating before the ark of God, pleading his blood in behalf of sinners. We will stop here for today. So we have just entered into the um, other segment of our sanctuary examination, looking at the law of God, which is where the ark of the covenant is. Um, is it's in the most holy place the holy of holies and in that ark is the law of god it is most supreme and holy god says um his law is immutable and therefore it is immutable it cannot be changed and it cannot be transitioned by anything or anyone and it is his um 
seal. All right. So let us now go to our meditation on him. We'll come back tomorrow for further reading on this immutable law of God, the Almighty One. We will do our meditation on him. We will for meditation on him. We will do him number two seven two. Give me the Bible. Give me the Bible, star of gladness beaming, to cheer the wanderer alone in tempest us. No storm can hide that peaceful ray that's shining, beaming, since Jesus came to seek and save the lost. Give me the Bible, holy message shining. Thy light shall guide me in the narrow way. Precepts and promise, law and love combining. Till night shall vanish in eternal day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. May we truly take the Bible as our rule book, as our roadmap for, for eternal life and truly follow after it astutely and faithfully let us pray righteous and holy father we thank you for another opportunity that you've given us to come before you we pray that you'll bless this effort that each of us has made father to draw nearer to you in committing to one hour alone time we pray that you'll strengthen and encourage those who will now continue on for one hour bless every single moment that they spend in that time with you father dispel darkness from around them and fill them with light so they can be children of the light and they can also follow that same light which is a ladder into eternal life and heaven guide us and keep us until we meet again tomorrow and help us to be faithful servants living every breath of our life by every word that is written in jesus name we pray amen well, let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be now and always acceptable in thy sight o lord our strength and our redeemer god bless you and see you in our next video please continue now for one hour you and god alone and remember remain faithful and follow the blueprints the holy scriptures it is our roadmap into eternal life